day one of SEC Media Days in Hoover, Alabama, SeniorBowl.com's uh, coverage beginning today and ending on Thursday. Phil Savage, our executive director, joins us now. Phil, four teams uh, take the stage in a sense today. You got Mizzou, South Carolina, Ole Miss, and Florida. Kind of summarize how you think those teams might do uh, in this season. Let's talk about Florida first. Coach Will Muschamp comes in here today with his junior quarterback, Jeff Driscoll. I think the question for the Gators is can their offense get good enough to beat the Georgia defense that's going to have to replace eight starters on the Eastern Division side of things. And then South Carolina was here today as well. Jadavian Clowney walking the halls along with Coach Steve Spurrier. They may be the team to beat in the East. They have two quarterbacks in Dylan Thompson and Connor Shaw, a senior that was here today as well. And then the other two teams that were represented, Missouri. Coach Gary Pinkle comes in five and seven a year ago, but they were decimated by injury last year. They have a cream puff four games start to their season. They could easily be 4-0 by the end of September, and they'll have a chance to go to a bowl game. And then Ole Miss, one of the teams that people are seeing as an up-and-coming program, they go 7-6 and six a year ago, but the opening part of their schedule is absolutely brutal. Four of their first five games are on the road, and then their sixth game is home against Texas A&M. So Ole Miss conceivably could be better in reality, but worse on paper. And then, of course, they get, as you mentioned, Texas A&M at home. Tomorrow, Johnny Manziel takes the stage. Highly anticipated uh, appearance here at Hoover after the weekend he had down at the Manning Academy. <laughs> yeah, Texas A&M, Coach Kevin Sumlin, Jake Matthews, our outstanding offensive tackle, Tony Hurd Jr., and Johnny Football. Johnny Manziel comes marching into Hoover uh, to face this throng of media members. And I think it will go one of two ways. Either he will be lauded by the way he's handled it or – the circus will continue saying that he didn't answer the way the media wanted to answer questions. The bottom line and the reality is by August 31st, he'll be under center for the Aggies and, it, and the world will be watching to see if he can duplicate or even improve upon what he did a year ago. That'll be tough to do. He had a sensational season last year. Maybe the biggest question this week will be who will have more cameras on him, Johnny Manziel or Nick Saban? Alabama takes the stage on Thursday and our coverage will continue on SeniorBowl.com.